In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this trick in PowerPoint. So when I click, it changes. Again, if you want to go back, you can just go back like this. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background of the slide with the help of the fill. So select the picture or texture fill and click on insert and if you want to insert the picture from your local PC choose this option or if you want to insert the pictures uh, from the internet or from the web you can choose this option so I'm going to choose the online options and then here I'm going to type landscape or any text you can just search for that one and then I'm going to choose any image depending on my requirement I'm going to choose this one click on insert and you can see here the image has been inserted here so likewise I have inserted here five different images so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add few shapes onto this one so let me just you can see here I'm just zoom out this slide okay a very small one then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to choose this a diamond shape draw a diamond shape by holding the shift key and make sure that it should be covering the whole the slide so shape outline make it no outline and make sure to align center align middle let me just go to the view and enable the guides so we know that exactly it is in the center then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give a different color okay and then again make sure this also to align center align middle and i'm going to reduce the size by holding the ctrl shift key together okay hold the ctrl shift key together and reduce the size you can see here if you want to reduce further again hold the ctrl shift key you can reduce it and i'm going to add one more shape press ctrl d and give some different color again make sure to align center align middle and i'm going to reduce it further by holding the ctrl shift key you can see here i have reduced the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these three uh, rectangles or the diamond shapes and then under the fill you can see one more option has come which is slide background fill so just click on this one you can see here the whatever the background image was there it is filled with those particular uh, picture okay the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one you can see this small uh, the circular arrow just drag this arrow towards the left then the next one when you click this is the second one now I'm going to make it to the right or left depending on the requirement and the bigger one again I'm going to tilt it towards the right okay so now I'm going to select all these three images Control C come here and press Control V so by default you can see here it has taken the slight background fill now I'm going to select this one maybe I'm going to tilt this towards the right this one here and one more where this one i'm going to make it towards the right okay so likewise again i'm going to select this one Control c come here Control v and again you just change the position depending on your requirement all right so you can see here i'm just changing and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one all the images go to the transitions select the morph and the timing duration i'm going to make it as one second so let me just play now slideshow when i click you can see here it is turning all right so here i've not done anything so again it's you can see here likewise you can do it again depending on the requirement if you want to you don't use the shape of diamond you can use circular shape or any other shape depending on the requirement.